we're Cheska and Ben, and this is Sophia, our Southport camper van and our home for the past two years. This summer, we started a road trip across Europe that would take us into Turkey for the winter. We've now spent the last three months exploring the east of this fascinating country, even picking up this little dude along the way. We're now heading north along the west coast of Turkey as we slowly make our way back into Europe. Subscribe and join us for the ride, with new videos every Sunday. Bodrum Peninsula. Last week we were on the Dacia Peninsula. We've now hopped up one, up to Bodrum, and we have got this beautiful spot right by the beach. The temperature is bloody cold. We're going to start the day with a run. Let's show you around where we're parked. Come on, guys. Fighting fit, ready to go. It's brassic. <laughs> no, we'll be good. The sun's coming up. Oh, no. is that, is that <laughs> oh, let me take that off, warm myself up. No. What a beautiful place this is. It's very, very, very quiet, apart from one fisherman that came last night around with his trawler and then back again this morning. Didn't see what he caught though. This place, when you're trying to fall asleep, because we're so close to the sea, it's like one of those a AMSR? ASMR. ASMR, I think you just hear the sound of the waves. Sound of the waves just going. So apparently last night there was a lot of heavy snowfall across Turkey. We've not actually got any of it where we are, but I don't know if you can just make out, probably not. Just on these hills here above us. Been a little sprinkling of snow. But that's about it for here. Oh wow. Look how it's all burnt out, but it's amazingly so now this is still alive here. Ooh. For those of you who are wondering why the hell we're going for a run, it's because I told Chess we're not putting the diesel heater on because I don't want to waste electricity. <laughs> no, I'm not only joking. <laughs> That's a good excuse, eh? I'll remember that one. So one of the things I want to get into this year is trail running. So any trail runners out there who are watching this, if you have any advice, any like brands you recommend me looking at or any just like beginner tips in general if you could let me know I'd be much appreciated wow this is a good four by four park up Whew. there's another house up there that's amazing how they get up here i do not know go on, go 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 Well, that was a killer. A few inclines there, wasn't there? Oh, it was a few. Come on, scouts. It's river scouts. Oh, but good. Feel good. Do you know what? It's, it's a start. It's a gateway. I cannot believe I've actually convinced Ben to get in the water with me. But it is on one condition. It's that he gets to wear his wetsuit, but he literally looks like he's about to go swimming in the Arctic. We're in South Turkey. <laughs> I don't... Come on then. Let's get I your boots on. <laughs> <laughs> like the T Rex. What is that with me? I'm oh. <laughs> watching Ben try again. You never think he's from Plymouth, would you? I feel like a Japanese whaling fleet is gonna. <laughs> Harpoon me off the bow. <laughs> On three. That's it, baby. Well done. Well done. I'm in. Oh, it's so cold. It's quite murky, isn't it? There? Is it? Yeah. Yeah, it's a sea action. Is it? Oh, oh, that went down my back. Oh, that's cold. <laughs> I'm a bit worried about these sea urchins. Come out. Nice to meet you. Anyway, 
I'm in the water. I don't know what was then. Look at this. We've got a swimming buddy for once. This is nice. Yeah. Well, I'm so scared of sea urchins now. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm like, I got a cat on a hot tin roof. I'm like, oh, oh, oh. don't touch the ground, don't touch the ground. Really? Yeah, be careful. Woo! Thank you so much for coming in. I had so much fun. Oh, you're welcome. So was I. We spent the afternoon drying off in the van before taking the dogs for an afternoon walk into the hills behind us, where not everything is as it seems. Some of you might have noticed on our run earlier that the trees around us look completely dead, which I guess would be expected in the middle of winter. But where we are, it's right in the middle of where the wildfires were last year, and it is just completely dead burnt forest, literally in every direction. It's really sad to see. We completely decimated a lot of this peninsula as we drove through. I think we drove for about, what, 40 kilometers through and a good half of it was just burnt woodland all the way through. As far as you could see, not just patches, but the entire thing. Yeah. And even like the hills in the distance were just rolling into view, completely decimated. It was all over the news last year and we remember seeing it on TV and it must have looked here so apocalyptic because literally the landscape in every direction is just burned. So it must have just been flames everywhere you look. It must have been terrifying. Well, loosely translated, it says burning separation memorial tree. Although the trees like been completely ravaged and like completely hollowed out, one branch has still survived and it's still, it's still alive, it's still growing. It's amazing, isn't it? It's got leaves on and everything. Look at the state of like... The trunk. The trunk of it, and but it still survived. How amazing is that? It was impossible to think that that single branch survived in the face of absolute destruction. It's a gentle reminder of resilience and hope when all else seems to be lost. A few of you have asked about Scout being on the lead and why he's still on the lead. His recall is in progress. It is slow work. He's just so used to being, he's just so used to being like a street dog. He'll just wander off. He will come back, but on his own time. On his own time. So everything's really new for Scout still. So we are working to get him off the lead. He is still on the lead. He's on a longer lead. His recall is getting better, but it is slow progress. Plus we don't want to lose him. Definitely too windy today and cold to go paddle boarding. So I think we're gonna leave this beautiful little park. I've had such a nice couple of days here. We're gonna to head to a little village on the very end of the Bodrum Peninsula today and hopefully get there in time for lunch. So a couple of weeks ago, the GoPro was on there and it fell off mid driving, managed to get it okay. But now we've repurposed the washing line as a little lifeline for the GoPro, which I hold on to while we're driving. So this is what we were saying earlier, it's on the drive where you can really start to see the, like, the level of destruction that the wildfires caused. It is just, we're going to be driving through this for miles and miles and miles. We've literally driven, what, two kilometres and we are now in snow. We have snow. Granted the roads are clear, but there's snow everywhere else. Yeah. We drove through the mountains and past Bodrum to reach the seaside village of Gamushluk perched on the seafront with pretty whitewashed houses. We hid from the wind in a little cafe for what we thought would be a quick lunch. An hour later, Chess realises she didn't order anything. What I did? 
I ordered manti, which is Turkish ravioli. I said, do you have it? Granted, it wasn't on the menu, but it was in a review and it looked amazing. So I said, can I have the manti? Is it possible? He said, yes. Waited for 45 minutes. Ben's had his lunch. Mine had already come out. I'd eaten mine in five minutes. And then I went into there and the kitchen was like, nobody's in the kitchen. And I was like, I ordered manti. He was like, yes. I was like, where, where is he? He was like, sorry, I don't understand. And he never understood what I said. So I showed it on Google Translate. And then he was like, oh, manti. No, we don't have any. <laughs> so I had to order pasta. So we've been sat here like lemons for 45 <laughs> minutes waiting. Moral of the story, guys, always order off the menu. It's really nice though. Oh my God, it's so cold. So cold. And so windy. This place would be so, so pretty in the summer when it's warm and there's like people milling around. But right now, yeah, I mean, it's look, Baltic. there's houses right on the front. You literally got, what, 10 meters? Oh, of sand in front of your house, so this place here looks abandoned. If that was for sale today, I'd seriously be, consider it. It's I'd, beautiful. I'd be very, very tempted to buy that. If I could afford it, that is. Here, I'm not too sure how much it'd be, but it is beautiful, or could be, could be beautiful. We left the concrete jungle of Bodrum behind to find a sheltered park up for the night, which wasn't as easy as we thought it would be. Reporting live from the middle of a hurricane. It's windy. Look at my trousers. Wait, wait. <laughs> oh, so we were going to park on here to start with. These are our tracks. It's a lot softer than it looks. You okay there, babe? No. No, I'm not okay. I don't know where this wind's come from. Whew. Okay. Guys, have you been for a wee? River, you been for a wee? Oh, wow, that wind's just died down after being up there. Hey, <laughs> oh, I don't know if I, oh crap, I tripped over it. Good morning. Good morning. Look at you. Look at these the little two. pups. Just want some love this one, don't they? Mwah. And you? You are you too? I don't know if that's going to come up on the camera. The, the gusting of the wind. It's just like, it's like a steam train going past. It is so, so windy here. The wind from yesterday did not die down. Or it's got worse. night. Yeah, it's probably got worse. Our plans to go hiking today up onto the hills over there have been thwarted. Unless you want to get blown off over to Greece. <laughs> so my my that's the answer to my question of can you juggle? No, I can't. Is no. Orange? Is it good? Yep. Is it good? Yep. <laughs> 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 the top okay, so fresh orange juice this morning. Yes, please. These were given to us. We had a massive bag before we left Dalian. Levent gave us a massive, massive bag of oranges. We've only got three left, so we're gonna have to stop and get oranges. But speaking of Levent, we'd just like to say a massive, massive thank you to Levent. So Levent has been the one who's helped us sort out our residency. He's been driving us around all the places. He also, sort, once we got our residency, he also has helped sort us out getting our boosters, which we've got now as well. So Levent, thank you, thank you very much. Plus your oranges are amazing. They are so good. Yeah, we really, really, really appreciate all the help and um, running around you've done for us. Levent, you are a legend. Cool, anyway, I'm gonna use the last of your oranges. Okay. Where's it? Where'd I put it? Which one's it under? <laughs> so not only do I make the drinks at six o'clock in the morning, I am now the official orange juicer boy. Man of not many skills, aren't you, babe? I am indeed. <laughs> Everything you see on YouTube, Chess does. Apart from the subtitles, I do the subtitles. <laughs> As a thank you. I get orange juice. She gets fresh orange juice every morning. Or whenever we have oranges. Go 
Thank you, madame. Thank you so much. Do you want to share this with me? I will have some after you. <laughs> you know there, Marv? You know the wet bandits? First up today is to go and get some water. A lot of you ask how we find water on our travels and we almost exclusively use the Park for Night app to see if there's anything around where we're staying. It has a little filter where you can um, put it in for services such as laundry and water, etc. And that has been so, so helpful. If not, we just keep an eye out along the road, especially in Greece and Turkey, there's been a lot of natural springs and taps along the side of the road, which has been really, really handy. But we've seen a spot on Park for Night, which is just around the corner from where we are. So we're gonna go and check that out first. Fingers crossed, it's a working water point. Okay, so we are just parked here, where this little blue dot is. And this little purple symbol here, it's for services and in this case it is a water fountain. Looks like we can easily get there to park. There aren't any reviews of it, but it just says there is a fountain. I don't know if it is drinkable, but we've got the lifesaver anyway, so we're fine with that. So we're gonna go and check it out. It's only a six minute drive away, so. How's it look? Oh, it's looking very promising. So we always fill our tank up, which we use for washing, uh, cooking, cleaning. But we also have a Lifesaver jerry can, which we have for drinking. When you fill up places like this, you can't always guarantee it's properly drinking water. So our Lifesaver, which is nicely called, filters the water so that it's uh, drinkable. It's really, really good. It's really handy. Our fresh water tank is 70 litres. Yeah. The jerry can's 20. Uh, the Lifesaver's 20, so it gives us, you know, what, 90 litres in total. It's great. We were on the hunt for a shelter park up on the south coast of Bodrum. After some questionable roads, we found ourselves on a beautifully secluded long pebble beach. Crowds rush to this part of Turkey in the summer, but in the winter, you might just have it all to yourself. I honestly feel like this little south eastern corner of Bodrum and then the Dacha Peninsula where we were last week. Now, if you haven't watched that video, I would recommend watching it. It's one of my favorite videos we've ever done. The Dacha Peninsula was just insanely beautiful. And I feel like that, and then this little kind of southeastern corner of the Bodrum Peninsula are just Turkey's best kept secrets. As soon as you get outside of the main towns, there's just nobody here. We haven't seen another camper van. I wonder if because these areas are near really popular places like Marmaris and Bodrum, people kind of tend to avoid them, but actually they're some of the most idyllic paradise places that we found in all of our travels so I would highly recommend coming to check out the little back areas of Bodrum and Marmaris it is beautiful well guys let's go for a little explore on the paddleboard shall we the wind has died down the sun is out let's see what we can find mountains just behind me here at the Dacha Peninsula where we were last week. <sighs> Such a beautiful morning. I thought there might be some little hidden coves around here but it turns out it's just like a resort apartment complex. How was it? Did you enjoy that? Oh, it was amazing. Okay, so on that note, we're gonna leave the video there for this week. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. We shall catch you guys next Sunday. Bye. Bye. The dogs are over there saying bye. This new boy, bye. <laughs>